Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Sung Jin Cho from Korea University. Today, I will introduce a novel CNN-based image denoising network using a parallel feature pyramid. Image denoising is an operation that removes noise from a noise image. However, it is difficult to remove noise while preserving useful information in denoising process because noise, edge, and texture are all high frequencies. With the development of camera technology, digital sensors with very high resolution have been popularly employed. However, their digital sensors become more sensitive to noise. Moreover, the low light condition or faults in devices result in noise corruption in the image. This photo is taken with Galaxy S10 Plus in low light condition. You can see noise in the zoomed area. So we still need image denoising. Recently, Deep learning algorithms have achieved significant improvements on image denoising performance. Recently, DNCNN, the Denoise Convolutional Neural Network, has been proposed. The DNCNN adopts batch normalization and residual learning and achieves state-of-the-art performance. The residual learning makes the network predict the difference between noisy image and the clean image. In other words, the DNCNN removes the clean image in the convolutional layers. To remove the clean image, the network should cover the characteristics of the image structure. Each block at the bottom of the figure is the, is the output of the convolution layer of the DNCNN. All feature maps have the same size of the input, CN, input size. These single-sized feature maps are insufficient to cover the full characteristics of the image structure. This slide shows the architecture of our network. To cover the full characteristics of the image structure, we utilize multi-scale feature maps by adopting a spatial pyramid pooling and multi-scale context aggregation modules. The SPP forms a parallel feature pyramid, which consists of multi-scale feature maps. The MSCA module combines these multi-scale feature maps to generate a contextual feature map. In our network, SPP forms three levels of feature pyramid. As shown in this figure, the size of the feature map decreases as the level of the pyramid increases. Each level of feature pyramid contains the information of its corresponding scale. For example, each, each pixel pointed with red and yellow in F0 and F2 covers the area with different sizes. The F0 covers a similar area like coral reef in in the image, while F2 covers a large image like a fish. This figure is the example of the MSJ module in pyramid level one. The feature maps are refined using convolutional layers and resized to the size of F1. Then we concatenate the feature maps and 
apply a convolution operation to obtain contextual feature map G1. Uh, 